are you strapped for time and only have a few minutes in order to make a meal on keto? In today's video, I will be showing you four meal ideas that will be ready to eat in 10 minutes or less. Welcome back to my channel, it's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all for the love and support that you've always given me in all of my videos and loving my content, so welcome back to all my returning subscribers. I have lost over over 100 pounds following the ketogenic lifestyle and during that time it took me quite a long time in order to lose that weight and I was one to always meal prep so I would I always say this on my channel and I always encourage you to make out a meal plan from the groceries that you have and then kind of do like a grocery shop based on just what you need and then meal prep after that so I did a lot of meal prepping in the beginning however there were times that I didn't have any meal prepped and I needed to make something really really quick and I wanted to stay on track I did not want to get fast food I didn't want to fall off the rails and just be grabbing whatever I could so I had to think of like quick meals on the go and quick meals for when I got home when I was really, really hungry coming home from work. So I wasn't gravitating towards that bread and making a sandwich or making pasta really, really quick. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a four recipes that I used and that I made during my weight loss journey in order for me to lose over 100 pounds. They are all really, really good and super easy. That is what I like, simple and easy. So let me share with you some of my 10 minute meals. Our first recipe that we are going to be making is my tried and true recipe that I made pretty much every day when I was losing. I could eat this every day. It was really, really good and really easy and it covered all of my keto macros for myself when I was losing. So the first meal today that we are going to be making is a simple scrambled egg and bacon bowl. So let's get started. Another super easy meal that I make all the time and I made literally throughout my whole entire journey is just the bacon and egg scramble. So let's get started. Simple, simple ingredients and very, very easy. And this will all depend on your macros, but I'm going to be using two slices of bacon for mine. So I'm just gonna first start off by frying my bacon in a pan. This recipe I like because it is easy and it's really, really good macros for keto. But also too, the reason why I cook my bacon in my frying pan is because after the bacon is cooked, then we are going to be making our scrambled egg in the same pan. And the fat that you get from the bacon actually, I find gives it a lot of the flavor and that's why I cook the bacon for this recipe in my frying pan. So let's get started in doing that. So we are just gonna fry up our bacon first. My breakfast bowl is all done. So what I like to add to it is some avocado. So I will put some avocado on there and then I also put some shredded cheese and I also put a dash of mayo in there as well too. If you're craving that Chinese food and there is no way to make Chinese food low carb, you can make it yourself at home. Let me show you how to do that. This was one of my go-to recipes. Very, very easy and simple and will not take you more than 10 minutes. And that is going to be a Chinese stir fry. So let's get started. All right, our next recipe for the stir fry is going to be super easy as well too. I am just gonna put some olive oil in the bottom of our frying pan and put it on medium. 
All right, so I added some of the olive oil, and the first thing that I'm going to do to saute is just put some green peppers. The good thing about stir fry is you can use any sort of vegetables that you have in your fridge, uh, whether it be red peppers, green peppers, some mushrooms, zucchini, uh, green beans, anything that you would like to have in your stir fry, I would suggest just frying it up first, making sure that it's soft, I myself, I like softer vegetables in my stir fry, so we are just going to saute this up for a little bit, and then I am going to add some mushrooms to this as well. Now I'm going to add my chicken and my mushrooms, and I may add a little bit more oil. I once again use the rotisserie chicken that I had. That's why I suggest for you guys to have a rotisserie chicken on hand. It's useful in a lot of recipes. I'm just going to add a little bit more oil to this and fry it up for a few minutes. And you can free, feel free to use beef if you'd like as well too. I just had chicken on hand and that is why I'm using chicken today. So I'm just going to saute this for a few minutes and then I will be back to show you what ingredients, seasonings we are going to put in our stir fry. These are the noodles that I use for my keto Chinese food and these ones are the angel hair ones. I have the fettuccine ones and the, sp and the spaghetti ones but these ones give the nice kind of like chow mein texture as well too. Good macros, they work out to be zero net carbs and only 25 calories for the whole entire package. And this is very, very filling. Now, I'm gonna tell you how important it is to rinse these. This comes in a package just like so and what I do is I cut it open and then I take it over to my sink and I put it in a strainer and I rinse it very, very good for approximately a minute. So let's do that. A little bit of minced garlic and I am also going to add some liquid aminos so this is what I use on keto and it works just like um, soy sauce And then we are just going to saute that up in order for it to get all of the flavors, all in the noodles and all in our vegetables and chicken. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and that is all that I'm going to be using for seasonings. But feel free, like I've said, to use any sort of seasonings that you would use in your traditional Chinese stir fries is almost done. I'm just gonna saute it up for a few more minutes and then we will dish it up. And this Chinese dish, this keto Chinese dish was made in 10 minutes or less. It took no time at all to make this and it's so, so good. Also, I wanted to mention if you are a volume eater, this whole serving is really low in carbs and low in calories. So definitely give this a try. Make sure that you have it on your meal plan. Maybe if you're working all day, you have nothing prepped, you can quickly get this together. And another thing that I have done, and I, I have made this as a soup, so I can make like a broth as well too and have it like with the noodles, with all the vegetables. Um, I forget what it's called if you do order it from a Chinese restaurant, but I have made that as well too. Very, very good. Highly recommend and so easy and quick. I found a love for salads when I was on the keto diet. I'm not one for fruit or vegetables, but since I can have higher fat dressings, I did like having salads once in a while on keto. So in this recipe, it's a very simple salad, simple ingredients and something that is easy to get together in 10 minutes or less, and that's going to be a Cobb salad. So Cobb salad is keto, all the ingredients are keto. Let me show you how I make that and let's get started. So our first thing that we are going to do with our Cobb salad is we are going to put a slice or two in 
your air fryer to cook. So I am actually going to use two slices of bacon. These pieces in the front are just the thick sliced and I just want the regular. That's why I took the ones from the back. I am just gonna put two slices of bacon in my air fryer and they take eight minutes to cook. So I am going to do that while we do all the other preparation for our salad. Okay, so we are gonna get started and I have some romaine lettuce leaves that I'm going to be using. This has already been washed. So we are just going to slice that up into bite-sized pieces and then put it in our bowl. and they are low in carbs so I'm going to add a little bit of cucumber and just slice it up chicken a couple nights ago so I am just going to use the chicken off of this to slice up and put on my cob salad so let's do that next cheese as well too. I love blue cheese. It is low in carbs. Um, as you can see it is zero carbs and I love it. If you guys don't like blue cheese though you can leave this out. Alright our bacon is already done so I'm just going to take it out and put it on some paper towel. Next we are going to add some avocado and I'm going to use about a half of an avocado for, for my salad. You can use whatever, however many ingredients and however much of an ingredient you would like to use depending on how it is for your macros and how much fat. I always like a lot of fat in my meals that I'm having. I do find that a higher fat obviously for keto, but some people do a higher protein and have success as well. So you can just figure out what suits you and your macros. Everybody is different. Bacon is done, so I am just going to slice up my bacon and put that in. Okay, I always recommend to meal prep some hard boiled eggs so that you always have them in the fridge. Another thing that I recommend that you have all the time is rotisserie chicken, either that you've cooked yourself or that you've bought in. But those two things will actually be pretty versatile and I will be using them to, in today's video as you see. Um, 
but it just makes it so much easier when you already have those things that are prepped and ready in the fridge so that you can make something like a salad or a stir fry or a chicken salad sandwich with some keto bread. Um, you know, it just, it makes it really, really versatile. So highly recommend if you aren't doing that already to do a little bit of meal prep, even meal prep some bacon as well too. Those things are gonna be very versatile in some of the meals that you can prepare to save you time. All right, so I'm going to use just one hard boiled egg and I'm just gonna rinse this off. I like rinsing it off just to get all the excess shells off of it. All right, and then we are just gonna slice up one hard boiled egg and put that on our salad as well. I need one of those egg slicers. That's what I need. Next thing I would need to order from Amazon. <laughs> I think that would just come in so handy considering how much I have eggs and for egg salad sandwiches and stuff. All we have left is just to put our dressing on, but that is it. Everything is really, really simple. It takes no time at all to make a nice, green, healthy salad. So let's put on our dressing and let's taste it. Here is our completed salad with some ranch dressing on the top. You can add, um, when, I feel like when you're making it yourself at home, you can even add more things if you'd like. If you'd like to add some green onions, some uh, red onions, just whatever that you prefer, even some mushrooms I feel would be good in here. Um, but make it, ma feel free to make it your own salad. So let's give this a taste. I'm gonna mix it all together here and then we are going to give it a taste. This is probably one of my favorite ways to have salad, either that or Caesar salad, but I just, this is all of like my favorites in one salad. So let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You know what? Keto does not have to be boring and lacking flavor. This recipe covers absolutely everything, has amazing macros, and I promise you guys will love this salad. Who loves breakfast for dinner? I know I do. I make it all the time. I put it on my meal plan actually for my family and for myself. So in this recipe, I will show you my go-to breakfast for dinner, and it will not take you longer than 10 minutes. Once you, even if you have an air fryer, I've been making my bacon now in the air fryer and my bacon takes eight minutes, you guys. Eight minutes to come out perfectly. So I am going to show you some pancake tacos and bacon in this recipe. So let's get started. All right, to start out with the pancakes, we are going to start with one egg and I'm actually going to start on my bacon. So I'm just gonna put that in there. My bacon takes eight minutes in the air fryer. So let's get that started. And I will put the ingredients on for um, on the screen actually for the pancakes because um, my air fryer is kind of louder and it's right beside the camera. So as I go along, I will put on the screen the ingredients. I will also have this recipe linked down below for these pancakes. I'm around from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on trying to depend Still it feels like I pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end Lost my head or feel my spark between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving
our bacon is done, so we are just going to cook our pancakes. And that is going to be it for this meal. Simple. I just put some of the spray down as you seen there. I get I got that spray off of uh, Nutramarket. I always have their website linked down below. We're going to put, I think, two pancakes on here first, and then we will make the last two in the next batch. So we are just going to cook these over a medium heat, just like you would regular pancakes, and then they should be done within a couple minutes. Okay, our pancakes are done. I will link this recipe below. I just made enough for one serving. Um, I think the recipe actually calls for... Um, is two servings, but I obviously just cut everything in half and just made one serving and my bacon was done at pretty much the same time that the pancakes were. So one thing that I like to do with my pancakes is I like to make them into pancake tacos. Um, I don't make pancakes too, too often because I usually make chaffles, but I do love pancakes and this is a really, really good recipe. I love that it uses coconut flour because I am allergic to all nuts, so therefore I cannot have any almond flour. So what I like to do is, I like to put my homemade whipping cream. I will link that recipe here. I actually did a short video on how I make it, but I use it all the time. I always make a batch pretty much every week. I use it on top of my coffee. I'll use it for like sweet chaffles or pancakes like in this recipe. I always have it on hand and I've been using it, using this recipe throughout my whole entire journey and it has not stalled me at all. So what I do is I just put some of the whipping cream in the middle of, of my pancakes and then you can top it with whatever sort of topping that you like, any sort of fruit or syrup. I am going to use some blueberries today. Blueberries are fairly low in carbs. Same with raspberries or strawberries. All the berries you can still have on keto and just make sure that you're limiting them. So I am just going to put some blueberries right in with the whipped cream. And if I had one of those tacos holders, like I've seen them, I think on Amazon where they actually like hold your, your taco like that, like, and it's a little bit of a tray that you can um, serve them. That's another great idea. I do not have that right now. So I am just going to have it just as is. And that's exactly what I do. I just roll them up and I eat them like that, just like a pancake taco. So let's give these a taste. All right, let's give these a taste. These are so good. You guys will absolutely love them for your next pancake recipe. Mm. Look at that. The whipped cream is what makes it so good. Mm. I would say these pancakes are the closest recipe that I've gotten to real pancakes. Very, very good. You, I made it in a mixing bowl, but you can make it in a blender. Sometimes I'll use like my magic bullet and just blend it all in there. And really, really simple. Only takes, what, a few ingredients? And you guys can have <laughs> breakfast for dinner in under 10 minutes. I hope some of these meal ideas give you some suggestions as far as having a quick and healthy keto meal, which you can make in 10 minutes or less. Let me know what you guys think of these videos down below. If you're liking these quick and easy meals for on the go, or if you're running low on time, and if you're working a full-time job and not meal prepping, let me know if you guys enjoy a lot of these quick and easy recipes that I do on my channel. Make sure that you're hitting that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.